What's up and welcome back to a new video on my channel Vivacious Vedant and my name is Vedant and today I wait 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 a second why I'm holding this pen oh yeah the reason I'm holding this pen is because to summon something yes I want to summon something yes you guys should try it now you might be thinking I might be using magic or some kind of thing and now my, you might be thinking that magic does not exist in today's world well if you think so, then you are very, very wrong. There is magic in this world. Let me show you. Akio book! Yes, I got the book. And this is the fifth part of the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So the spell I used, uh, it was basically a summon, summoning spell in Harry Potter. So I'm just gonna, I don't know what I, what I have to do with this pen, but anyways, I'm just gonna leave it there. So anyways, I'm gonna, giving, I'm going to be giving the book review of this book that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And this is the fifth book in the series. Now, if you haven't checked my uh, previous book reviews of Harry Potter series, I will be linking them in the description box below and make sure you check them out before going to this video. And the link also uh, of the, the book reviews of Harry Potter series will be somewhere here, somewhere the i button will be somewhere here. So I don't know exactly remember where will be the i button, but anyways. So let's get into the story now. Now this book is much, much bigger books book then compared to the other harry potter books and this was a, oh this book was a very long book consisting of 800 pages but never mind this book was amazing in my point of view now what happened in this book as usual at the starting harry lives with the muggles uncle vernon and aunt petunia now something weird happens there something unusual happens there what happens is that two Dementors attack at Harry and Dudley there. You might be wondering that the, we saw the Dementors in the, you know, previous to previous book. We saw the Dementors in the third book of the Harry Potter series. Now you might be wondering if you've read the third book of the Harry Potter series. The Dementors are the guards, guards of the Azkaban prison. And they also came to Hogwarts to save the students of Hogwarts from Sirius Black, who was at large in the third book but not now okay now what happens in this book is uh, okay you will know that who sent the dementors to harry and dudley in the muggle world when you will read the book further which i'm not going to spoil you much about right now okay there was a big confusion in harry's mind now what happens is that harry is rescued by the previous members of the order of the phoenix now you might be wondering what is this order of the phoenix well it is an order it is actually a secret order order that fought with voldemort when he was previously at large when he was previously at large i by that i mean when he was previously at large uh, okay now what happens in this book is the uh, the uh, order of the phoenix members gathers at number four Grimmel place so uh, the order of the phoenix other order of the phoenix members save harry from you know the muggles uncle vernon and aunt petunia now what happens is that they go to the headquarters of the order of the phoenix which is now number 12 Grimmel place which was the old house of sirius black now sirius black did not like that house uh, and uh, for some reason which i'm not going to reveal it now and um, now what happens is that harry then uh, goes to Hogwarts after going to number 12 Grimald Place and he was really happy seeing all the you know friends of Harry like Remus Lupin, Sirius Black, his especially his godfather. Now Harry goes to Hogwarts. Now he notices a little change. There is a new defense against Dark Arts teacher called Dolores Umbridge. Now what happens is she is appointed as a high inquisitor by the Ministry of Magic. Now, Dolores Summers is a woman that worked for the Cornelius Fudge in the Ministry of Magic. If you do not know why this is happening, because uh, Harry and Dumbledore, Professor had Albus Dumbledore, the headmaster, believe that Lord Voldemort is back. But the other people, okay, let's say the people, uh, the how the people believe that 
Voldemort is back. Lord Voldemort is back. And the other half believe that they are not back. If you have seen my last book review, I told you that the Minister of Magic is not a claiming that Lord Voldemort is back. Now soon the Lord of Umbridge was appointed as the head of the school replacing Dumbledore. Now what happens in this book is Harry is getting dreams of Department of Mysteries in the Ministry of Magic. Now what happens is that Voldemort wants something from the Department of Mysteries in the Ministry of Magic. Magic, something valuable, something strong, something valuable, which he did not have last time when he fought Harry. Okay, now that thing was a prophecy, but I'm not going to tell you much about that prophecy right now. So he was having dreams in the, the when he was in the Department of Mysteries, and he actually went to Department of Mysteries at the very ending of the book when the fighting scenes and happened, all that stuff happens. Okay, now what happens is that Harry got a dream. That a huge giant snake attacked Arthur Weasley, who is uh, considered the father of Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter series. Now, uh, that was just a dream. But no, it was not just a dream. It was the truth that a huge giant snake really attacked Arthur Weasley. And that was a really, really, it was a truth. And now then other Weasley had to go to the Ministry of, not the Ministry of Magic, the St. Mungo's Hospital of Magical Maladies. Okay, see so he had to go to St. Mungo's Hospital, which is the hospital for wizards and witches, wiz, witches, sorry. Now, what happens is that Harry is start get, started getting more dreams about Department of Mysteries. Now, what happens is that Harry needs to learn Occlumency. Now, you might be wondering, what is this occlumency? Now, uh, I've told you that Harry was having some dreams. And that dreams was actually belonged to Wal Lord Voldemort. And that you snake, okay, uh, uh, the you snake that came in Harry's dream was actually Voldemort's plan, okay? That you snake was, a, like, it, it was a new snake, but it was not exactly Voldemort's plan. He wanted something and Arthur Weasley was standing at the door of the Department of Mysteries. So he sent that snake to injure Arthur Weasley, not uh, kill Arthur Weasley, that uh, that something valuable, valuable was there in Department of Mysteries. So he didn't want it, Arthur Weasley to protect that. So he sent that big, huge snake. Now Harry is learning occlumency from Professor Severus Snape. Now, if you have read the books of Harry Potter, you would know that Professor Severus Snape is not Harry's best teacher. Uh, Professor Severus Snape is actually the potion teacher in Harry Potter, but ha Harry hates Professor Severus Snape. The reason is that Professor Snape and Harry's father, when they were at school, they had a bit of a fight. Now, Snape is teaching Harry the occlumency to protect himself from Voldemort. Now, Voldemort was an expert in legnumency. Now you might be wondering, what is this legnumency? Now legnumency is the power to, uh, uh, you know, okay. Now you might be wondering, what is this legnumency? Now the legnumency is that Lord Voldemort was a really expertise in legnumency. Now what is legnumency? That uh, to extract feelings and emotion from another person's mind. And Voldemort was doing exactly that. So he needed to protect himself. Harry needed to protect himself. Okay, now let's come to the important thing. I said even before that Harry, at the very ending, the final scene, the battle scene, Harry came to Department of Mysteries. He really came to Department of Mysteries. Now, what happened is that why he came to Department of Mysteries? I will tell you now that he got a dream while doing an owl paper that is actually ordinary visiting level paper he was doing his history of magic paper then he suddenly slept there and got a dream that Voldemort was torturing Sirius Black his godfather and Harry had to hurry to the ministry of magic by these creatures okay you can see by the cover these creatures are actually called testrels now you will know about Thestrals when you will read the book. Now what happens is that he realizes that Voldemort had tricked Harry in coming to the Department of Mysteries. 
He had tricked, actually tricked Harry. He had, it was, it was not real that Voldemort was torturing Sirius Black. What exactly happened is that ha Voldemort wanted Harry to come into the Department of Mysteries. So he tricked Harry. Okay, so this was a really, you know, I felt really, uh, you know, I didn't, you know, I felt like, Angerness. I felt angry in front of Harry at that time when I was reading the book because what happens is that in this book that Sirius Black dies because of uh, I would not say that but I would say that Sirius Black died because of Harry because Harry got a dream and uh, that dream was actually you know Voldemort's plan okay to you lure him uh, lure Harry into the department of mysteries and I felt really bad for Sirius Black what exactly happened is that Voldemort that dream that had it was not real and then Harry came to the department of mysteries to rescue Sirius Black but Sirius Black was not being tortured now Sirius Black and other Order of the Phoenix members were worried so they came to the department of mysteries so, to save Harry from Voldemort and unfortunately Serious Black dies. But the rest of the part of the book is you to find figure out, you to find out. So that is it for today's book review, guys. If you like this book review, please give a kick on the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video as much you as you can, and hit that notification bell because if you don't on it, you will get notifications whenever I post a new video. And of course, don't forget to share this video to your other Potterheads because they will surely love this video. Goodbye!